The world's major internet giants are deploying artificial intelligence chat, which is an intelligent chat robot launched by the US company Opni. At present, it has caused great heat in the world, and it is even expected to become a wind vane of artificial intelligence. Chinese internet companies are also actively deploying Chakt. However, the Chinese version of Chakt accidentally spilled the beans. On November 30, 2022, the American company Opne AI officially released a natural language processing tool, the intelligent chat robot Chakt. After its release, Chakt reached 100 million active users worldwide within two months setting a record for the fastest user registration for internet products. Chat quickly attracts users' attention by virtue of its powerful dialogue ability and information integration advantages. Traditional search engines input questions and then give a series of answers, which are retrieved by users themselves. When using chat, the input problem can be solved in the form of dialogue. Not only is the degree of anthropomorphism very high, but the answers given are comprehensive. Answering questions is just one of the functions of chat. It can also write articles, write codes, and even complete difficult and logical content creation. Artificial intelligence chatbits represented by Chat are becoming an industry trend. American companies such as Microsoft, Google, and Apple are making great efforts to deploy. Chinese internet companies are bound to catch up with this industry trend. If successful, American companies may once again lead an era of artificial intelligence. Therefore, the importance of Chat is self-evident. So Chinese internet companies have also begun to create chat-like products. Even if they can't gain a firm foothold in the market, it is good to gain a wave of popularity with chat. Some users used a Chinese-made chat-like product. When the user asked whether the AI product was supported by chat, the AI said, No, I am a human being. Are AI products human? Isn't this answer wrong? The user continued to ask questions, but the AI gave a bunch of incoherent answers that had nothing to do with the user's question. This conversational service is useless. The matter is not over yet, and follow-up information shows that the official chat interface in the United States has been disconnected. It turns out that the problem lies here. This so-called domestic AI product uses the American chat interface. Even if the chat interface is referenced, the question and answer service it provides is messy. However, there are also some large internet companies in China that are investing a lot of manpower and material resources in the research and development of chat-like products, such as Alibaba and Baidu. Alibaba's chat-like product has already undergone internal testing, and Baidu's Ernie bot will be launched soon. Chinese internet companies still have a long way to go to create chat-like products. After all, this is the first product launched by American companies, and American companies have achieved good results using chat. If Chinese internet companies want to win the favor of users, they must show real skills in this competition. Only companies that truly polish their products from the perspective of users can gain market recognition.